Hello, third graders. This week, you'll be composing a melody, much like you did last week, except for this week, we're going to use this website. It's called onlinesequencer.net. We're going to do the same thing that we did last week, where we just stick to do, re, mi, so, la, and the higher octave of do. Okay, we're going to leave out T and fa. Now here's a picture of a piano, kind of tilted sideways, and here I'm telling you that Do is C, Re is D, Mi is E, So is G, La is A, and Do is C. Okay, so let's get started. Make sure that the draw icon is selected and then choose an instrument that you'd like. I'm going to go with steel drums. The BPM is beats per minute, or the speed of the beat, speed of the tempo. Why don't we put it at 125? And we'll give it a title too. Okay, let's get started by drawing some notes in. I want you to keep it within the first measure, so only fill up squares in this big box that says one. Okay? Now, I'm going to start on C, and there you heard a steel drum playing C. Remember that C is Do. I think the next note I'll do will be a G. A G is so. Let me add a few more notes here. And remember, just stick to C, D, E, G, A, and C. Or Do, Re, Mi, So, La, and Do. I'm going to put Mi right there, and So, and Mi, La, Oh, make sure it's on the white keys. So that's La, that's So, and how about Mi, Re, Do, Re, Do, Re, Mi. Okay, so if I press play, I'll hear that and it'll, it'll loop. Now, you can slow down the tempo if that's too fast. Let's try that about 93. Okay, so now that we have a melody that we like, let's try doing some fun things with that melody. So go up here and make sure that you select the arrow, not the draw icon. Then drag and select your whole melody. Go up here, copy it, and then let's paste it. Now, it pasted it in the same spot as before, but if you click on it, you can actually drag it, and now we have two different parts creating harmony. Let's see what that sounds like. Hmm. That didn't work so well. Let's try another one. How about now? Okay, so that sounds a little bit better. Let's try a few more fun things with that. How about we take this melody, go over here, and invert So now it's upside down. Let's see what that sounds like.
So on top of that, you can also add some drum sounds. So down here, you have all the drum sounds. Let's add in, oh, make sure you're on draw. Add in the kick drum. One sound for every beat. And let's add the snare drum on beat two and beat four. And let's try the close hi-hat, followed by a snare click. Okay, so now we have a drum beat to go along with our melody. 